Hello y'all, this is Fresh Fire and Wind Dragon, and welcome to Blackwell Unbound. The music is kind of loud, isn't it? Let me see if I can turn it down. No. <laughs> Evidently not. Bandolera Roja very kindly gave me the next two uh, games in the series. Um, so I'm very excited to play them. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, it's all the same to me. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. Stay out. Aw, oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef, anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great, you want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. Just one. Then I can get on with this. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the main character from the last one. Rosangela? Maybe that's it. But yeah, I'm thinking this is a, her aunt before she jo adopts Rosangela. But I can imagine the stress would really get to you. Absolutely not. Right now, nothing exists except for me and this cigarette. Okay, then. Oh. Oh, I... I know I know. Not much I can do with that. What's the point of that? I can't wear the things. Yeah. Really. I have no interest in that thing. A pair of muddy boots. Man, that is an old coat. I think soldiers wore it during the Civil War. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's alright, I guess. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell, also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. Look how young she was. She's got to be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Oh look, another ashtray. This is the first ashtray I've seen in the game, Joey. <laughs> I can't remember the last time she washed that thing. Just a radio. It's her phone. She calls this thing a Polaroid. Takes pictures instantly. It's pretty amazing. Tackiest thing I ever saw. Another ashtray. What a surprise. That thing is deader than, well, me. 
Oh, look. It's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. The local rag. An ashtray. Full, of course. Hey. What? Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um... Exactly. You done moping? Or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey. Can't you just leave it for one minute? Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Well, it was funny. It that... was cold and wet and slimy. I didn't expect that answer. It wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. Someone in Little Italy reports his stack. Stock disappearing. Grocer. Grocer in Little Italy reports his stock disappearing. Rats. Strange moaning on the Staten Island ferry at night, old water pipes. Owner reports that her husband's ghost talks to her, she's a drunk. Strange music heard on the Roosevelt Island promenade. Construction halted on 53rd Street due to bizarre accidents. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. A development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. Now that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. We've already looked through this paper. We don't need any more leads. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. I tried growing flowers in there once. Now, it's an ashtray. My couch. It doubles as my bed at night. It's a dictation machine. I've been trying to keep a record of my dreams by recording what I remember. It's my phone. Who needs a candlestick when a cola bottle works just as well? Looks more like a wine bottle, honey. <laughs> the kitchen ashtray for when I'm cooking or watering a plant. I'm sure I can nurse this thing back to help. Just needs a little more time. That's the second kitchen ashtray for when I need both hands to take something out of the fridge. Oh, right. I made a cup of coffee this morning and never washed the cup. Or was that yesterday? A little transistor radio. I bought it before I discovered Joey screws up radio signals. It's my Polaroid camera. Hmm. I'm running low. That's the phone ashtray. For when I'm on the phone. My television. It's the latest model. It's my rainy day jar. 
I put some money in here whenever I think of it. It's a trick I learned from my mother. There's around $60 in here now. I don't need to wear my coat. It's summer. An old coat I picked up at the thrift store. My boots. Good for rain and bad weather. So is there going to be rainy weather in this game? It's the front door. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Roosevelt Island Promenade. 53rd and Lex. I'm home, so let's go here. Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Hey, look. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. Look, look updated. Uh, I got the first clue. An old Warren can use the Nice tune. You write it yourself? I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? Hey, mister. Hey, mister. You who? I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Ugh. Forget it. He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. It's his saxophone. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. It's just Joey, floating over my shoulder, as usual. Another night, another crazy spook. Hopefully this won't take too long. Hey Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. So, nice night, huh? That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. That's your idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? Hey, do you feel... restless? Like you've got somewhere to go, but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey! hey, hey. You let, let go! go. I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't, I don't care, care who you are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my set. set. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not nah, now, now, man. man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! Stage? Ow! That's, That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. Okay. That ghost mentioned Johnny Ivory's little day connection. So we need to figure out... Uh... Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that! that. I'm going to talk to you, and you're going to listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! <sighs> Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man! 
Who or what is Johnny Ivory's? What are you what, kidding me? You're, You're crazier, crazier than you see. Get, Get out of here. here! Ow! <laughs> Forget it. Okay, maybe we're supposed to go find... Find the exit. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. The gate is locked. I can't get through. This barrier is blocking traffic. At least we won't be disturbed by passing cars. Closed, locked, and barred. I'm not getting in this way. 53rd Street and Lexington Avenue. A thick wooden wall enclosing the construction site. Hmm. Nobody's getting in this way. Nobody living, anyway. All right, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. Uh, well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Hey there! Huh? Could someone, Could someone be, be there? there? Of course not. No, no one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. Hey lady, I'm talking to you. No, the door is closed. Nobody is there. Only way in is if I open the door. And to do that, he'd have to knock. Um, knock knock? What? <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. I said, hey there. No, no. Nobody there. Door is locked and barred. Nobody could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. Visitors must knock or ring the bell. That's the way it's done. Um, knock knock? What? <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. I'd like to see them try. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Trying to get rid of me, will they? Looks like a foreman's trailer. Just a fan. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. I can see that spirit pacing back and forth out there. Just a bunch of drawers. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she... Don't know what I could do with it. Well, there's a date circle on there. Oh, look, an ashtray. Maybe the kid should get a job here. That's the way out of here. I can't touch it. Even if I wanted to stick my head inside, which I don't, it would be too dark to see anything. There's not much I can do with that except look at it. Let's take a look-see.
This letter was written only a few weeks ago. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. My guess is that she's not too happy with the foreman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. Where else can I go? Okay, can't <sighs> tell her name yet. I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. That's the way out of here. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? How's it going on the outside? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here. Like a day at the circus. Miss me? Yeah, sure. Like I miss toe fungus. I need you to do something. What? Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock. Oh my! A visitor! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you feeling all right, mister? You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right, yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I'm with the Census Bureau, and I have to ask you a couple of questions. Where's your clipboard? I excuse me? I thought all census takers needed a clipboard. Ah, no. Not anymore. Cutbacks. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Where else can I go? Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? Just sit tight. Hurry up, will you? Some homeless guy just made a pass at me. I'd like to see them try. Ugh, oh, I can't. They want to fight? I'll give you one. I have to go through the gate. So, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. The gate is locked. Joey! What's the deal? What do you think they're building here, Joey? Dunno. Another condo, probably. Seems like more and more of those are going up every day. Any thoughts on our construction site, Ghost? Her? Eh, she's not bad looking in a motherly kind of way. Any thoughts on how to save her? Nothing springs to mind. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. I'm going in again. 
You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. My home. Let's take a look-see. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. I think she's the woman outside, but... Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. There's not much I can do with that except look at it. I can't take the sign. I can see that spirit pacing back and forth out there. Just to keep up appearances, I think I'll use the door. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. Not much I can do with that. Did I leave the gas on? Hey, kid! Knock on the gate again. Another visitor? Oh, you again. You're not in a building, lady! What are you talking about? We're on the ground! We're outside! You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look! I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh... Yes, you did. You found nothing and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. This place is filthy. Yeah, cause you're They outside. have no right. No right. Hey kid, right. knock on the gate again. Ma? Oh. I'd like to ask you- Look, I'm not- Who are- I live- You do? Uh... No, you don't. You're not fooling me. One who I told you the old is a good my home. Hey, kid. Ma. Oh. Uh, I'd like to ask. Look, I'm not. Who are? I would. Oh, you were. Yep. He wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. I own this apartment. You're not fooling me. One who I told the old is as a good bot. Did I leave the gas on? I'd like to see them try. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? They have no right. No Looks like a foreman's right. trailer. They want to fight? I'll give them one. My home. Did I leave the gas on? Oh, that's you. That's the way out of here. I'd like to see them try. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. Did I leave the gas on? So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. Hey, you got a minute? What is it, Joey? Looks like our night won't be so easy after all. Disappointed? Nah. I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or bake me cookies. You could use a good slap. Yeah, I'd rather have cookies. Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. Don't know. There's always the phone book. Uh, 
All right, let's get on with it. Yeah. Nope, I can't leave unless she goes with me. There's a phone number, but no address. Hello? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Ooh. Why didn't you say? You've got my sixty dollars. Um, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. Twenty-four Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. It seems I feel I gotta leave, but I'm over the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to stop it here. But, uh, thank you all for watching, and this is Brush Fire Wonder, and signing off.